Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about irrational numbers. Now we know that the rational numbers are the numbers in the form of P over Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Whereas the irrational numbers cannot be expressed in the form of P over Q for the integers P and Q. So we can say a number which is not rational is a rational number. Also, irrational numbers are represented by non-terminating non-repeating decimals. Now, the square roots such as root 2, root 3, root 5 and so on are irrational numbers as root 2 is equal to 1.414213356 and so on and root 3 is equal to 1.732050 and so on that means these are non-terminating this means they are never ending and non-repeating decimals also the ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter is the irrational number that means pi which is equal to 3.141592652 and so on is an irrational number. As this decimal is also non-terminating and non-repeating. Now let us discuss how to draw a root 2 on the number line. Now for drawing root 2 on the number line, in the first step, draw a number line which is denoted by L. So here we have drawn a number line which is denoted by L. Now in the second step, take two points A and B on the number line 
such that A is at 0 and B is at 1 so that AB is equal to 1 unit. So we have taken this point as A, this point as B, such that AB is equal to 1 unit. Now in the next step, draw a perpendicular on the line L at the point B such that BC is equal to 1 unit. So we have drawn a line M which is perpendicular to this line L at the point B and BC is equal to 1 unit. Now in the next step, join AC. So here we have joined AC. Now in the next step, with A as center, and radius AC draw a circular arc which intersects the line L and name that point of intersection as D now with A as the center and AC as the radius, we have drawn a circular arc such that this arc intersects the line L at this point and let us name it as the point D. Now here we are getting a triangle ABC which is right angled at B and BC is equal to 1 unit and AB is also 1 unit. So in triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem AC square which is the hypotenuse square is equal to AB square which is base square plus perpendicular square which is BC square. So this implies AC square is equal to AB square which is 1 square plus BC square which is also 1 square. This implies AC square is equal to 1 plus 1 which further gives AC is equal to root 2 units. Now you can see from the diagram that AC and AD are the radii of the same circle. Now we are getting AC is equal to root 2 units. Therefore AC is equal to AD is equal to root 2 units. As they are radii of the same circle. So now we are getting AD equal to root 2 units. Therefore we can say that the point D that is this point on the number line corresponds to the number root 2. So this is how we can draw root 2 on the number line. Now let us draw root 5 on the number line. Now for this the first step is to draw a number line L. So 
So here we have drawn a number line L. Now in the second step, take two points P and Q on the number line such that P is at 0 and Q is at 2 so that PQ is equal to 2 units. So we have taken this point as P and this point as Q such that PQ is equal to 2 units. Now in the next step Draw a perpendicular on the line L at Q such that QR is equal to 1 unit. So we have drawn the line M perpendicular to L at the point Q such that QR is equal to 1 unit. Now in the next step join PR. So now we have joined PR. Now in the next step With P as center and PR as radius, draw a circular arc which intersects L at the point D. So with P as center and radius PR, we have drawn a circular arc which intersects the line L at this point which is the point D. Now we can see here that PQR is a right angle triangle with PQ as 2 units, QR as 1 unit. So in triangle PQR by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square which is PR square is equal to base square which is PQ square plus perpendicular square which is QR square. Now PR and PD are the radii of the same circle. So therefore, PD will be also root 5 units. Now as PR is equal to PD, these are radii of the same circle. Therefore, PD is equal to root 5 units. Now PD is root 5 units, therefore the point D, that is this point, corresponds to the number root 5. So this is how we can draw root 5 on the number line. Now let us discuss the wheel of Theodorus. For this, let us start with the steps of construction. In the first step, draw root 2 by constructing A right triangle with base 
and perpendicular equal to one unit such that its hypotenuse edge is equal to root two units. So we have drawn a triangle ABC, right angled at B, in which the base AB is one unit, the perpendicular BC is one unit, and the hypotenuse AC is root two units. Now in the second step, with AC as the base, draw a perpendicular at the point C of length 1 unit and create another triangle. Now, in the right triangle ACD, AC is equal to root 2 units, CD is equal to 1 unit. Now, by Pythagoras theorem, square which is AD square is equal to base square which is AC square plus perpendicular square which is CD square. So this implies AD square is equal to AC square which is root 2 square plus CD square which is 1 square which is equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. So this implies AD is equal to root 3. So we are getting AD is equal to root 3. Now going on the same way, a wheel is constructed and this is called the wheel of Theodorus. That is, in the first step we have constructed the triangle ABC. Then in the next step we have constructed the triangle ACD. Then after this we will construct the triangle ADE with AD as the base and the perpendicular DE which is one unit. And we are getting AE is equal to root four units. And going on the same way we will get this V. So in this session we have learnt about irrational numbers, then drawing the irrational numbers on the number line, and after that the wheel of Theodorus. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.